Hello, and welcome back to another audio tutorial with me. Uh, and this is also proof that I am awake during daylight hours. It's very bright in here. Um, I won't be playing any sound or audio back in this um, explanation, this explainer video, this sort of question of the week that we've had. Uh, it, re it relates to workflow, um, but I'm going to give you, I'm just going to give it to you for free, uh, sort of for free, um, a template for audio storytelling. And it looks like this. And it's sort of like a watch strap or a chain, um, but it's super easy to remember. Uh, this is your basic sort of vanilla starting point. Master this and then find ways to mess with it. Uh, that's, that's, that's my challenge to you. So let me explain what you're, uh, what you're seeing here. Um, on the top track, we have script or what's meant to be script. Uh, the second track will be clips. You're familiar with this so far. And the third track is the important one. And this is where you can elevate your production value here a little bit. This is where your background sound or your ambience will go. And let's, let's just take that out of the quote unquote mix for a moment. When you're assembling your uh, voicers, your packs, your basic sort of pattern or structure that you'll follow, that you'll follow will be script and a clip. Script, a clip from someone else maybe, and then your sign off. And that's pretty basic, that's pretty simple. The layer we'd like to add now is the background sound or the ambience. And you'll hear uh, people in industry, uh, professional storytellers, documentary makers, encourage you to never have dead air, never have silence. Um, obviously not totally true. You can have dead air and you can have silence. It's not that they're banned or outlawed, but try not to have it. Challenge yourself not to have it. Uh, you should always have some sort of sound behind you. You should always be somewhere as the reporter instead of just recording in the vacuum of your studio or, you know, uh, in your apartment, wherever you're doing your voiceover these days. Uh, so the idea is that the background sound on this third track should be from the same location that this clip is recorded in. So I'm going to group those together so they're the same color and you'll remember it'll be easier for you going forward. And then if you have another clip from another location obviously you would use the background sound from the next clip. And the idea here is that your voiceover, you the storyteller, the reporter, the narrator should be in the next scene, the next location, you know, of the clip that will precede you or follow you rather. And it looks like this. It's very simple. So do what you're doing. Clip script, clip script, clip script. But then add a third track. And that's where you simply put your background sound in afterwards. A couple of other notes here. I uh, leave a little bit of space at the start to establish any sound that you open your story with. And leave a little bit of space at the end for a crossfade during your podcast or the overall program that you're producing or participating in. These little links in here where we have all three tracks, you, you want to overlap them a little bit so you can have a crossfade. And from here to here, um, well, these are grouped right now, but from here to here, you shouldn't hear that. That should be totally natural, totally invisible. Um, obviously, you'd adjust the volume on this block here you know, to taste to make sure the background sound isn't overpowering the foreground elements or your narration. Um, and you know, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, and I hope that this sort of orients you towards, you know, the ultimate goal of these very lush full mixes, uh, with a lot of interesting scenes and sounds and whatnot. Happy to talk about it. Ask me questions, try it on your own, send me some examples, and I hope to hear from you and your work very soon.